Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to make the gear 3D animations for your mechanical devices just by using the Blender 4.2. Start from now, I'm going to show you all the step by step. This is just an example. You can see the mechanical gear with the dependency. So this file, I'm going to just close it. Just start a new general project and everything. Start from beginning. The first step, what you need to do is just go to the edit preferences under the add-on, get extensions. You need to make sure get the extra mesh object. Right. I already installed this. You need the internet to install online. The extra mesh object. Something like this, you click install for extra mesh object. Then under the add-on, here search for extra extra mesh object you need to make sure activate it then close it then when you add the mesh you should be able to see the gear at here so now first I'm going to delete everything just delete the delete everything press A and delete button then just add a mesh at a gear so from here, what you can do is under the radius, let's say I'm going to put a ratio 3 to 1, 3 ratio 1, 1 ratio 3. Okay, so the diameter, I will just put 30, sorry, 3 meter. Then the number of teeth, I will just put 30. Alright, now, see? Then, I'm going to add one more gear. Add a mesh, add a gear, both I put 10, this one 10, here, 1, 1 meter. So now the ratio is 3, ratio 1, then I will just move this to somewhere here, right. Then I will just go to the edit mode and rotate everything so that so I click Z so that it will be fit right no do not move the do not move everything but you can just rotate it then back to the object mode at this moment you can move it Make it nearer, something like this. All right, then next I'm going to just add, add a mesh at a cylinder. From this cylinder, I, I will just go to the edit mode. Wait here just look at this location 4.06 I copy this and then this one I put the rotation same as this so Y here this one I just press S to just make it small then I will duplicate this shift D Y here back to zero something like this all right then this will be the main one just press S to make it big and then make it lower I'm going to add one more one more structure at here. So for this I go to the edit mode. I select the surface. This two. I press E. Sorry. Before that I I just want to give a few loop cuts.
Okay, something like this. One more. Okay. Then I will just choose this these four faces back to the selection. Right. So I press E so they can connect to somewhere here. Do the same at here as well. So I just control Z. So I select eight faces and press E to just make it connect to here. Now then back to the object mode. So this structure have to combine with this. So or you can just make a parent, make make this as a parent. Click this, hold the shift, click the parent, then control P object. So now this one will be the cylinder 001, see. Later, you are going to rotate in that way. So this gear, gear 001, okay, this one, small gear. This gear, what do we call? Big gear. Just name this properly. This small gear have to attach to this. So click the small gear, hold the shift, click the cylinder, control P, just bind it as object. So now, later, when you rotate this, it should follow. And next, we are going to set the dependency of this gear. The dependency. So now, click. And the rotation, something like this, is under the Z. Control Z, this one. Just right click. Then, add a driver. Then, move this up. Move your mouse cursor to here to break at one of this and switch this to driver. Driver at here. Then click the Z. Then click the driver. We are going to set the driver at here. So now the dependency object, the driver will be this one. So click and select the cylinder. And then the expression should be three times. Just because of this small gear and the big gear, the ratio is three. So the expression will be three multiply, something like this. All right, so now we try to rotate this and have a look. This one. You have to make sure the type is Z rotations. So now we try one more time. Now you can see this mechanical gear will automatic follow the cylinder. Now finally back to the back to here. So we are going to make it automatic rotate the Z rotation at here. We may just type hash hash frame slash for each of the how many frames you want it to rotate how many times something like this. If I put 10, it will be very fast. Each 10 frame it is going to rotate one round. See? So I may also just put as 100, it will be slow, very slow. This mechanical gear. Next, we are going to set up the material. So the material setup will be somewhere here. Just turn on the material first and click the material for this one. I click plus new, then metallic, 100, roughness. So name this material as metal. So click apply to metal as well. And this big gear, I'm going to just add a color. Let's say orange color. This one, I will just make it as blue color as demo. So now have a look. Play. You can see 
this mechanical gear with the driver dependency depends on the cylinder and it automatic will rotate and here you can change the number of frame maybe you can just put 600 then start from beginning and here you can just observe the whole mechanical gear how it rotates it is 100% accurate that follow the tip of the gear and you can view it in 3D you can render your 3D animations as well all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to make the mechanical gear with driver and dependency which make the small gear rotate which follow the cylinder and then you can, can just rotate the whole big gear with, with accurate teeth contact point alright that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorials or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!